Yeah, I mean, I think I don't want to speak for her, but I have talked to her privately, and I do think that implication was intentional. Um, you know, where it goes from there, I don't really know. Um, and I would certainly uh, not want to speak for any producers or writers, but I just would say, like, you know, that was a choice word. And uh, and I I really loved the fact that my character on Law and Order, um, that the writers and that's the cool thing about television, writers and producers are picking up what you're dropping, you know, what you're laying down they're 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 paying attention to it because it inspires them. And so the years of Serena Sutherland um, at a time where Law and Order always when it's great is cutting edge, is controversial, is ripped from the headlines, you're going to recognize um those cases and there there's it's exciting because it feels so timely and um you know current and i was really moved by uh you know the pursuit for you know gay marriage to be legalized and um and that that topic that subject at the time was everything and i really cared a lot about it and so all every time an episode that had some element of that uh, issue in it, you could tell that my eyes lit up and I was, so I think that's why Dick Wolf then wanted Serena to depart and uh, for us to learn that. Um, and it was great. You know, I, I only wish we'd been able to explore it more, which is what makes this law and order so exciting. Cause we're going to get to know these characters in a way that we didn't get to know the OGs.